Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com and in today's video we're going to be exploring some options under 40 millimeters. Watches nowadays are getting bigger and bigger. It's been happening for a while now. Uh, so I thought I'd do something with uh, watches under the 40 millimeter in diameter uh, mark. And I didn't think I'd come up with so many. Uh, I had a long list. I skinned it down to about seven pieces. I've got them all here right now. I'll go over each one briefly and uh, bring them up to the camera and, sh and show them up close. I, I didn't go through the, the usual suspects like uh, your Seiko 5s or your Orient 3 stars because we all know that those are available. Uh, this is something from some other manufacturers that maybe you haven't heard of uh, that offer something for, uh, for guys that is under 40 millimeters. So we're going to start with uh, the watch right in front of you. This is a Messerschmitt and I picked it first because it's got a blue dial and I love blue dial watches. They paired it with a you know blue leather strap and this is a quartz based watch. It's made in Germany. It's made by the same company that manufactures uh, Aristo and uh, Vollmer watches. So this one is 38 and a half millimeters so that's from here to here. So well under our 40 millimeter mark and it's around 200 bucks. Uh, a great choice, a great dress watch. Uh, you can see the case design. They do an excellent job. Very simple dial, but the blue is mesmerizing. It's a mineral crystal, which is domed out. Beautiful lugs that curve down to your wrist. Just really, really good looking. Next one I'm going to show you is from a brand called Aromatic. And this is something you know, a little bit different now. This is a triple date complication. So I've got the a triple calendar. I've got the date around the outside of the dial and I have two little windows for the day of the week and the month of the year. And the month of the year is actuated through these flippers on the on the right side, the, the buttons. And then there's also a, a hidden button for uh, for quick change of I believe the day the day of the week. There's also a day night indicator down at the bottom. So this aromatic comes in around 38 millimeters. It's around $170. It's on this burgundy strap. It comes in a black dial. It also comes uh, on a, in a black dial with a brownish strap. Sign buckle. It's an automatic see-through case back. It is a it is a Chinese movement. Aromatic is located in Germany, but they certainly are manufacturing their watches in Asia. We've been carrying them for years now, many years, uh, and you know I generally don't carry watches if they don't you know, if if they don't offer good quality to the customers, good value for the dollar. This watch is consistently continuing to perform, and you know the owner of the company is a stand-up guy, stands behind his products 100%. The blue you see on these buttons, just for your reference, is for protection. You peel it off when you get the watch. It's not a cabochon. Moving down the list, next I'll pick up an Orient Palmer. So obviously Orient's a brand that most people are familiar with. This is a deep black dial. It's a quartz watch, as you can tell from the crown the crown holder, so it doesn't run while it's in the package. It's a simple two-handed watch. It's got no seconds hand. Sapphire crystal. Quartz operated. Uh, this one is, let me just move my notes over, this one is 39 millimeters. It's extremely thin, very, very elegant. Get the watch focus again. There you go. You can see it's very thin. And you can see the dial. There's a dial is very simple, but there's a lot of detail. There's depth there. The, the inner part is sunk, is sunk down. Sword hands, no luminescence. Uh, sapphire crystal, if I didn't mention it. Solid case back. Of course, an Orient buckle. It comes on a black leather strap. They make this in white dial. They make it on a mesh bracelet. Uh, but again, another beautiful dress watch. Uh, the first the first couple I've went over, actually most of them I'm going to go over are going to be dress watches. There's a couple of sport watches in the mix. Uh, if you're looking for a dive watch, uh, you'd want to look at, you know, I've covered the mid-size marathon watches. Um, I covered those a couple of videos ago. You can check them out. That would be uh, they're around 37 millimeters. And they're 200 meter dive watches. 
Um, usually, uh, yeah, obviously smaller size is, is tend, tends towards dress. Uh, I also did uh, a Laco video where I showed the two of the 37 millimeter Laco Pilots watches. So we're gonna, let's move on. And here's another brand that you may or may not have heard of, but certainly an iconic design. This is Baccia. This watch is in full titanium. So titanium case, titanium case back. So it's very good for uh, people who have any kind of nickel or metal allergy. Um, and also a titanium buckle. A lot of companies, when they have a titanium watch, they just blast the buckle to, sh to make it look like titanium. But here you can see the buckle is titanium. This is Baccia 30, model 3538. This is around a $99 watch and it comes in at 39 millimeters. Now interesting design because it's echoing uh, I guess mon you know a mundane watch which would be the Swiss railway design with the red seconds hand, the stick, num the stick uh, indices around the dial, stick hands. The titanium has a blasted finish so it's got no sheen to it. Very Understated. Let me put my hand behind it. The camera's focusing on this on the stuff in the background. Very understated. Extremely simple design, but just gorgeous. I like how they even made the crown. Very simple. No knurling. Just a simple push pull crown. Again, this is a Baccia. It's a fully titanium watch. Next up, I'm gonna pull a watch from Volmer. Now, Volmer makes also the Messerschmitt that you saw before. They also make Aristo, which I'll show you in a minute. This is a, uh, get the model number right, confuses me. This is a V5H85. This is an auto. Uh, it comes with an ETA 2824. Uh, the movements do change. Right now, they're making them with 2824s. This one's 38 millimeters. It comes in around $500. This is a real German wristwatch. It is made in Germany with a Swiss movement. Exhibition case back, signed rotor, sapphire crystal, extremely well done dial. This is uh, your, your B style aviator, your navigator's dial. I'll flip out the lights so you can see the loom. Glows extremely well. Very easy to read at night. Comes in a brown leather strap. Strap's very, uh, it's very interesting. It's, it's, it is padded, but it almost looks like it's a single cut piece of leather, but it's not. Uh, it's done very well. It's flat. So it's, an, you know, it's a good change from the conventional aviator uh, riveted strap. It's, I can get made in Germany right on the bottom of the dial there. Excellent. So now I'll move into the sister, the sister watch, which would be an Aristo. So this is an Aristo 4H262, named after the 262 Messerschmitt plane. Uh, it's also on the dial. This is 38 millimeters. This is one of the smallest in the bunch. We, we, we go from 38 to like 39 and a half or so. Uh, this one's around $570. Also a Swiss automatic movement, but they put it on this nice mesh bracelet. Sign buckle see-through case back. So this would be a, a, a great pilot's watch, obviously, just like the prior one, uh, for smaller wrists or when you just don't want a watch that is so large. Coin edge bezel, matching onion crown. Simple date window. Comes on a stainless steel mesh strap that actually has curved end links. So while it doesn't meet the case exactly, it does play very well with the piece. And then lastly, I'm going to bring up what is probably my favorite. Definitely my favorite of this bunch. Um, this is probably one of my favorite Orients. Uh, this is a watch that was out for a long time. We got some back in. I like, I, like I said in the beginning, I love blue dials. So this actually has a very deep blue dial. This is the Orient. Retrograde, this is the uh, DE00004D. It's around $600. It comes in at 39 millimeters. So it is a blue dial and it's got rose gold, it's a two tone rose gold and stainless steel bracelet and case. 
This is gorgeous. It's got a power reserve meter up at the 12, so you can see as I wind it, you can see the needle at the top over here starting to go up. A day of the month indicator at the 9, and a retrograde style day of the week indicator at uh, 6 o'clock. So it goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. After Sunday, it, the needle will snap back to Monday at, at the change of the uh, the change of the week. I love, I just love the combination. The rose gold and the stainless is one combination, but it's the rose gold and the blue on the dial for me that really does it. Extremely well done. Again, Orient, you know, Orient usually knocks them out of the park. This one really, again, this one for me, my favorite. So I'll go through now and I will, uh, I'll pop each one on and you can see how it looks on my wrist. Again, for reference, my wrist is about six and three quarters, so they're all going to fit extremely well. Nothing will be too big, nothing will be too small. So since we finished it with it, now we'll start with it on the wrist shot. This is the Orient Retrograde. Looks excellent. Maybe I will keep it on. Here is the Aristo 262 Pilot's Watch. Third one up is the Volmer Titanium Pilot's Watch. Very lightweight. Baccio Railroad Watch is number four. Never be late for the train again, especially with quartz accuracy. Certainly the most understated of the bunch, the Orient Palmer with the Sapphire Crystal. No seconds hand. Just a simple two-handed watch. The seventh one is the Aromatic Calendar Watch. Certainly the most sophisticated of the bunch. Definitely looks like more than the asking price of under $200. Uh, certainly echoes a lot of more expensive brands in their triple calendar watches. Of course, it doesn't have the same craftsmanship, but excellent compromise. And last, but certainly not least, the Messerschmitt. I think this is the best looking dial of the bunch. The blue is just captivating. Not really sunburst. It's light, it's dark, as you can see how, how the light plays with it. Very well done. So again, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you some under 40 millimeter watch choices uh, for guys' wrists. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not done so yet. I'll put some links in the video description to uh, each item or the brand pages. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, though, please put them down below, and I will be sure to address them one at a time. Thank you very much.